Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take Five. It's good to start the day with you today and I hope you're feeling well. Let me adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. All right. And we are back in Exodus 3 and we're going to pick right up where we left off last time. Verse 6. Uh, God's talking to Moses. He said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face. Because he was afraid to look at God. Verse 7, the Lord said, I have indeed seen the misery of my people in Egypt. I have heard them crying out because of their slave drivers. And I am concerned about their suffering. So you see, God does hear when we cry out to him. Don't think he doesn't. He absolutely hears us. So if you're ever in trouble, cry out to God. Verse 8, so I have come down to rescue them from the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of that land into a good and spacious land, a land flowing with milk and honey, the home of the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites. All right, now God's giving a little preview. He says, look, I've come here. I want to take the Hebrews out of Egypt, out of slavery, and I want to bring them into this land flowing with milk and honey. Now that sounds good. But then you realize it's the home of, and he gives several other nation and people groups there, which means just because God takes you out of it and wants to bring you into a great situation, it doesn't mean it's going to be with no obstacles. Now, God says he'll do it, but there's going to be obstacles. And, you know, God may be trying to do something great in our lives, but it doesn't mean there won't be obstacles. He's more powerful than the obstacles, and we have to have faith that he can get us through those obstacles. But there will be obstacles. But it's a land flowing milk and honey. The reward is worth it. Verse 9, And now the cry of the Israelites has reached me, and I have seen the way the Egyptians are oppressing them. Maybe you deal with a bully at school, or maybe you deal with an unfair teacher or something like that. God sees that. Okay, He doesn't ignore it. Verse 10, So now go. I am sending you to Pharaoh to bring my people, the Israelites, out of Egypt. Remember, the Israelites are God's people, and he refers to them that way all the time, and they still are. Don't ever uh, start listening to anybody talk negative about Jewish people. They're still God's people. Now, they're in rebellion against God right now, and he set them aside. But one day, uh, Israel will be restored completely. Um, but we'll, we'll deal with that some other time. But for this point... He's saying, I'm sending you. He's telling Moses, I'm sending you. You're the man, Moses. And this is what this conversation is dealing with. Verse 11, but Moses said to God, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the Israelites out of Egypt? Verse 12, and God said, now God doesn't really answer this question. God just says, I will be with you. And this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. So apparently that mountain, remember Mount Horeb, the mountain of God was right there. He says, you're going to go get them and you're going to bring them out here. And you're going to worship me on this mountain. That's what God tells Moses. Verse 13, Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask, what is his name? Then what shall I tell them? All right, he's saying, here's where Moses starts wanting to get out of this. So he's going to start just bringing up question after question after question. Now, you see, most a lot of times in the Bible when God calls somebody and tells them to do something, they just immediately go do it. Moses isn't quite like that. Moses is more stubborn. Sometimes we, we're stubborn. You know what? God can use even stubborn people. So Moses is being a little stubborn here, so he's got a question. He says, okay, I'm going to go there and say, okay, uh, God wants to bring you guys out of Egypt. And they're going to say, okay, who is that? What's his name? All right, Moses wants to know what God's, what he's supposed to tell him. God said to Moses, I am who I am. That is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. So God refers to himself as I am, which means he's the God of the present. He's not just the God of the past. He's not just the God of the future. He's the present. In other words, I'm with you right now. I am. All right. Now, it's, it's not, you know, a real catchy name necessarily, but it's God, what God said to tell him. And so this is what Moses needs to do. All right. We've got to continue with this 
conversation between God and Moses. Fascinating conversation on the next edition of Take 5. And taking me a second here to find the pause. There we go.